In this video, I want to show you 10 very useful tips, add-ons and so on to improve your Thunderbird workflow and how you can enhance your productivity with this free and open source Outlook alternative. Welcome to Linux Ort. My name is Jean. Let's start right through. It is completely irrelevant if you are using Windows, Mac OS or Linux for this video. Thunderbird is working the same on all three platforms. The only platform which works differently is the Android platform, but we won't discuss this today. Here I have my Thunderbird with a very basic mail account. Let's come to the very first tip and this is signatures. I guess many of you already know this feature, but I want to show it you properly. So for that, I open up my settings menu. You can do this on the left bottom corner, or you can do this here on the right upper corner with this burger menu here and then hit settings. And then here on the downside account settings. Here we see all our email accounts and here we can define our signature text. I personally highly recommend you not to paste something in like best regards Max Do or kind regards or like this. This shouldn't be in your signature. The signature is just to give the user further information about you, about your company and so on. So what you should insert here is for example, phone and for example, your homepage. Also something like agreements and so on. This is great for your signature. You could also use some HTML tags to make some text bold, for example, but honestly, you won't need this really. If you want to get fancy, then you could also attach a signature from a file instead. This could be a simple text file, but also a complete image or an HTML file, which loads some further resources from the internet, but could make some trouble with other email clients and email recipients because of spam protection, also antivirus protection. So if you want to get fancy, use this. But honestly, I only recommend you the simple text. This is completely enough. The next thing you could add, which could be very handy, is to attach your V card. So this is a digital contact card about you, where you could define your first name, last name, nickname, organization, phone numbers, and so on. And with this, a person can really easy add your contact with a single click to their address database and so on. So this V card could be very helpful if you want to use it. This is it to signatures. But if you ask me now what to do, I don't want to write kind regards or best regards every time and also my full name. If you have a bit of longer name, I can highly relate this. So what can you do with this? There is a very great add on. You could do this by going to the burger menu here on the upper right corner and then select add ons and themes because yeah, of course you can enhance Thunderbird in different ways. And what we are using today is the add on quick text. And then we see here the quick text entry and I select add to Thunderbird and then I select add again. And then we see quick text was added. Perfect. Now I can close all tabs here again. And then we see the quick text on the upper right corner here. I click on this and then we go to the quick text settings. Here in the quick text setting, we need to add a group. I click add group and then give it a name. For example, default, I select save here on the right bottom corner here and then select the default group here in the selection menu and then select add template. And here in this template, I type in kind regards. This is our title. And then I'm pasting in kind regards again. And then my name, I'm going with Max Doe here. This is it. You could also now define how to insert this. Text is completely fine. And also you could uh, define a shortcut. There it is where it comes really handy. I define the shortcut Alt 1 and then hit save in the end. Very important. Don't forget that. Yeah, we could also add another template. For example, for further questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And I type this also as a template. Maybe we want to shorten the title. And as a shortcut, I define the alt zero because yeah, this is my shortcut. I'm doing it. But of course, you can define it completely on your own. And the very cool thing is you could 
also insert some variables here. So here just click to variables and then you see you could define some attachment file names or also the first name, the last name of the person and so on. Very, very cool. But I'm just leaving it as it is here and then hit save again. And then we have two templates and then we could create a new message and very important. It is very easy to create a new message and um, not by pressing this um, blue button here. You could just press control N for new and then we see here yeah, a complete new window here. Then I can, for example, yeah, write myself an email and then I could say hello Max. Of course, you could also define some greetings into the quick text and then in the end I want to press alt zero for further questions don't hesitate to contact me and also alt one for this kind regards Max Doe for example. I press control enter and enter again and then I typed in a complete email with my signature with our quick text templates and with cool hotkeys very very easily and very fast with Thunderbird here. You could also reply to some message not by clicking to reply, just press Ctrl R and then you are getting the right window here. I personally do maximize these windows all the time. Also very important if you want to write an email and if you want to make a new line but not a new paragraph because when you're typing in just the enter key then we are moving into a new paragraph. If you want to get just a new line not a new paragraph you can press shift and enter and then you are only in a new line. A very quick tip. Also you see the signature is added at the bottom of the site here but you could also change this in the settings. I personally don't recommend you to add the signature directly after your original message. I personally like it that it is added in the bottom but of course you can change that. We head over to Thunderbird here then go to settings and then I go to account settings here and here in account settings we go to composition addressing and here in composition addressing we can define where to include the signature and the signature below the quote or above the quote. You could also change some other very cool settings. Just have a look for example also you could add some more identities here by going to the, your account settings here and then head over to manage identities and then you can add some further identities if you have also configured them with your mail provider. Also a very quick tip I personally recommend you and this is the message list display options we have here. I personally am not a big fan of this cards view. I guess many of you are liking this very new cards view but honestly for me this is just too much white space between. So I'm going back to the table view here and then we see a lot more information and a lot more emails in our inbox here. And also I toggle this message thread here and then we see every single email as a separate email here. And I personally like that much more. Also we could define the density. We go here to the right corner to our burger menu. I change the density to compact. Then we can get as much information as we want to our screen. Also a thing which is very important and very quick is the quick filter here. We could very easily add the quick filter also enable the pin here so that this quick filter is always enabled and then you can very quickly filter for messages so if I filter for test, don't press enter here, then uh, you're getting all messages with a subject where test is inside or a sender or a recipient is called test in this. But of course you could also search for um, the body of some emails, but this could take a bit longer. And if you want to get more detailed in search, then there is a very great add-on I want to show you. For that I'm going to the add-ons settings again. So on the right upper corner here to add-ons and themes and then I search for expression. The add-on is called expression power message calendar search ng. We want this. I select add to Thunderbird here and now we have it here at perfect. It is okay for me. I close everything here. And then we got a new icon here on the left side here. I open up the expression search 
and then we could define where we want to search for example and our in our whole max at linuxguides.de email here and then we can define multiple conditions for our search for example subject contains test but also i could add a new rule for example from contains for example max and also i could for example say okay the date of this email age and days but also the date here is after for example the first of june 2025 and then i hit search here and then we see all emails which are meeting these conditions very useful and if you want to narrow down a specific email out of ten thousands of emails for example then the search add-on is really really good this is it to our expression search let us come to another point if you have multiple mail accounts i only have one mail account here but if you have multiple mail accounts you can get a grouped folder for your inbox so you have all incoming emails on one place and don't have to manually click on every inbox of every email here this is very easy just go to these three dots here and then hit folder modes and then we select unified folders here we have our unified folders and then we have a unified inbox so if you have multiple mail accounts then these um, inboxes are merged in this unified folder but of course you also keep all folders where you also could go to the very specific mail account folders you are searching for what i would recommend is to move these unified folders up so i click on these three dots here and select move up here and then our unified folders are always on the top also another cool feature is if you want to write a message again then go to your send messages and then right click to a message for example this one right click and select edit as a new message and then here we are uh, we could edit as a very new message and send it again to for example another person of course you could also save some message as a template so this one then we can go to templates here and then i can double click a template and then a new version of this email is opened and then we can send this email again but i would highly recommend you if you want to really use a template don't fill out any correspondence here so i right click this template here and select edit template and then i'm deleting the two here and save this by pressing ctrl s and then close this and then yeah this is a real template we only fill out the address here maybe the name and then this is done very very quick very easy i guess many of you already know that as a next point i want to show you another address book as we have it here because this address book is okay very modern but it doesn't has too much functionality especially if you want to get more detailed with your address books there's a very great add-on for that i go to the add-ons and themes page again and search for card book here we have it i select add to thunderbird hit add again and then we have a new card book thing here. I press cancel here, this is enough. And then we see a yeah, new icon here and there you can add a new address book. You could import it from the standard address books, but you could also add a local, but also remote address book. And then you can get much more detailed with these addresses compared to the built-in address book system of Thunderbird. So just make sure to check this out if you are really into keeping your addresses sorted and as much information in it as you want to. In the end, I want to show you a really quick thing. If you close Thunderbird and if you open up Thunderbird again, you see we don't have to insert any password. But if you want to secure your Thunderbird, then you can go to the settings menu here and then you can go to privacy and security and then you could use a primary password. I check this one and then we can define a primary password that we have to enter to access our Thunderbird. This secures us from any unwanted users which might use this computer. So highly recommended to define a password here. I press okay 
and then we have our primary password successfully changed and from now on if we open up Thunderbird we have to insert our primary password first and then afterwards yeah we could use it normally again and this was it for this video I hope you learned a bit new stuff and if you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because here on Linux Ord we are releasing new stuff about open source software and also Linux every week so make sure to don't miss the future videos and see you on the next one bye bye